Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you three very interesting examples based on parameters of operational amplifier. In my last video, I have covered parameters of operational amplifier. Based on it, here we will be solving three questions. Before I start with solution, let me show you those questions first. Later, you can check for the solution in this video itself. So here, you just freeze the video in between. This is first question. This is second question. And this is third question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I'm going to solve first question over here. So see in first question what is given. In the circuit given below CMRR that is 60 dB. So common mode rejection ratio that is given that is 60 dB. The magnitude of output V0 is how much. So we need to find output voltage over here. So first of all, you should know what is CMRR. I have already explained you what is CMRR, right? CMRR, that is a ratio of differential gain divided by common mode gain. Here, we don't have differential gain. Why the reason is? Here, we have this open with respect to feedback. So we have negative feedback, right? And as we have negative feedback over here, this differential gain that is feedback gain. So what is feedback gain? That is RF by R1 and what is common mode gain? See common mode gain that is ratio of common mode output divided by common mode input. So if I say common mode output that is V0 and common mode input that is VCM then CMRR is this. right? Now if you observe, see we need to find VCM, CMRR, RF, R1 that is given to us. We need to find VCM, common mode voltage, right? So what is common mode voltage? See common mode voltage, that is the voltage given at this two terminal. And that is what we are giving it with the use of this bridge circuit. So if you observe here, we have two voltage, right? And this is balanced bridge. So as if you have balanced bridge over here, at this terminal, voltage will be 1 volt. And at this terminal, voltage will be 1 volt. So 1 volt and 1 volt that we apply over here. So you can say common mode voltage at this two terminal, that is 1 volt only, right? So based on this, now we can calculate V0, right? So if you make V0 as a main term, then V0 will be RF into VCM divided by R1 into CMRR. Now, if you observe here, see CMRR that is given in terms of 60 dB. Here you need to write that in terms of value. So you should know CMRR in terms of dB that is equals to 20 log of CMRR in terms of value. So here 60 that is equals to 20 log of CMRR. So here see this is what 3 that is equals to log of CMRR. So if you take anti-log you can say CMRR will be 10 to the power 3 right. So you can say CMRR that is equals to 10 to the power 3. Now we just need to substitute values over here. So what is V0? You see RF that is 100 kilo and here also RF by R1 that is kilo, right? So RF that is 100 divided by R1 that is 1 into VCM. So common mode voltage that is 1 divided by CMRR that is 10 to the power 3, right? Now see we need to have answer in terms of milli voltage. Right. So here you can say 100 divided by 10 to the power 3 means you can say 100 millivolt. Right. So our correct answer over here that is 100 millivolt. I hope you have understood this. Let us solve second problem now. This second question is based on slew rate. Here I'll explain you entire process of slew rate. So you can solve some other questions as well. Let me read the question first. See here question is an amplifier using 
an open with slew rate of 1 volt per microsecond. So, slew rate is given 1 volt per microsecond that is having a gain of 40 dB. So, gain is given in terms of dB. Remember, it is there in terms of dB, 40 dB. If this amplifier has to faithfully amplify sinusoidal signals from 10 to 20 kilohertz. So, here we are amplifying signal with frequency 10 to 20 kilohertz. Now, when it comes to slew rate, at the time we need to focus on maximum frequency, right? The, re the reason is issue comes at maximum frequency only. So, here maximum frequency that is 20 kilohertz. Without introducing any slew rate induced distortion, then input signal level must not exceed. So, what should be the highest magnitude of input signal? That is the question. Here, I'll explain you complete process. First of all, you need to understand what is slew rate. I have already defined that in parameters. Slew rate, that is rate of change of output with respect to time and we need to have maximum value of it to have slew rate, right? Now, what is V out? So, V out, V out with OPEM, that is gain A into V in, right? Now, what is V in? Here you see, we are giving sinusoidal input. So, here gain A into V in is Vm sin omega t. Right, where omega is 2 pi f. So, here we have VO. Now, based on VO, if you differentiate this, then you will be having slew rate. Right, so let us differentiate it. So, here slew rate, that is differentiation of V0 with respect to time. So, we need to differentiate this. So, here we have A that is constant, Vm is also constant, sin omega t, that differentiation is omega into cos omega t. So, that is what the differentiation of this, right. Now, we need to have maximum value of it. You see, we need to have maximum value of it. So, maximum comes when cos omega t that is equals to 1, right. So, here actual value of slew rate that is a v m omega, right. Maximum of this that is this, where cos omega t that is equals to 1, right. So, this is slew rate. Now, what we need to do is we need to use this equation, right. And we need to find what is the maximum value of input. So, maximum value of input that is Vm, right. So, here let us make Vm major. So, slew rate divided by gain A into omega that is Vm. Now, here you see slew rate that is given 1 volt per microsecond. So, what is that? 1 volt per microsecond means 1 divided by micro means into 10 to the power 6 that you need to do divided by gain A. See gain A that is 40 dB. So, here we have gain in terms of dB. See gain A in terms of dB that is given that is equals to 20 log of A. So, A is actual value. Right. So, here 40 dB gain is there. So, 40 that is equals to 20 log A. So, you can say log A that is equals to 2 means value of A that is 10 to the power 2 means 100. Right. So, here we need to substitute values in terms of value. It should not be there in terms of dB. Remember this. So, here now A is 100 into C omega that is 2 pi f. So, 2 into pi into frequency. So, frequency is 20 kilohertz. Slew rate is applicable with highest frequency, right. So, here frequency is 20 kilohertz. So, 20 into 10 to the power 3. That is what maximum value and you just need to solve this in calculator. Let me check what is my answer. See, my answer over here that is 79.5 millivolt, right. My answer is this. You just verify it. Probably that could be the answer only, right. Let us move on to third question now. This third question that is also based on slew rate. Let me read the question first. See, question is the slew rate of an op-amp is 
0.5 voltage per microsecond when used as a inverting amplifier with gain of 50. So here gain is given that is 50 and this gain is not there in terms of dB it is actual gain right. The voltage gain versus frequency curve is flat up to 20 kilohertz. So frequency curve is flat up to 20 kilohertz. After 20 kilohertz that frequency curve that is going down. So you can say maximum frequency that is 20 kilohertz right. The maximum peak to peak input signal maximum peak to peak input signal can be applied without distorting output is. So maximum peak to peak input that we need to find right maximum peak to peak input that we need to find. So what is maximum peak to peak input? Maximum input that is Vm. So peak to peak is 2 Vm for sinusoidal. Peak to peak is what? Plus Vm to minus Vm. So maximum peak to peak that is 2 Vm. Right. So slew rate that I have already explained you. Right. Again let me explain that. Slew rate that is rate of change of output with respect to time and we need to have maximum value of it and I have already told you in my last example this V0 that is gain into V in and this V in was V in is Vm sin omega t. So if you differentiate this V0 with respect to time we need to find maximum of it that is slew rate right. So just differentiate it. So you will be having you see AVM that is constant and sin omega t differentiation is omega into cos omega t and we need to have maximum of this. So slew rate that is AVM and omega is 2 pi f right. Now here first we will be calculating value of Vm right. So what is Vm? Vm that you can say that is slew rate divided by a 2 pi f a into 2 pi f. Now you see slew rate that is 0.5 volt per microsecond means it is 0.5 into 10 to the power 6 divided by gain a. So that is given 50. Here it is not there in dB. So directly you can use it. So it is 50 into 2 into pi into f. Highest frequency is 20 kilohertz. So 20 into 10 to the power 3. You just solve this in calculator. Let me check what is my answer. So Vm that is 79.5 milli voltage. Right. So that is what my answer. Now here question is what maximum peak to peak. So if you wanted to have peak to peak then answer is what peak to peak that is 2 Vm. So double of this that is 159 milli voltage right. So 159 option C that is correct one over here. I hope you have understood this. So you should know the basic process of solving question. I'll be going to solve few more examples based on parameters. So next video is also based on examples of parameters. So that will resolve your understanding further more.